everyone welcome back to the channel thank you for tuning in as always thanks for all your support likes subscribes shares comments discussions all very very much appreciated right today we're going in with engine bay clean so now the gopro's mounted we're gonna have to look sideways so well flat i've got surfex hd in the ik foma nice and strong We've got built hamber Atom Mac again, erring on the strong side just to atomize into cavities, metalwork, etc. etc. We've got some hammerite Q rust just to treat some of the rusty, crusty bits. We've got pearl for plastics, obviously, and Meguiar's ceramic hybrid detailer purely because the bottles suck and I'm just feeling like they're on borrowed time and they need using up. So, I have already been in, as you can see, we'll do this later as a separate element. I've already been in and put plastic bags on the alternator, the air filter box and the battery. I was gonna use waterless products just to give it a spruce up because it doesn't need a lot, but a little bit of this sponge, which was like a um, insulation, I suppose, on the bottom of the plastic tray, is totally and utterly vaporised. <laughs> and you can see there's remnants of it everywhere. And then I thought, oh, I might hoover it. And then I thought, do you know what? No. I'm going to use Surfex HD and then hose. So we'll get this all over. Get the whole bottle on, let it have a little bit of a sit. I'll do underneath the bonnet well, underneath is pretty clean actually, so I'll probably this bit, the, the felt, I'll probably go over that with the ceramic QD. And that'll be it. And the reason I'm doing this and not a clean is because the weather has been unusually kind and the car's not that dirty. And I don't want to be in that situation where people say in the comments, it's not even dirty. Which is true. So I'll let that do its job. You can see some dirt coming off that pipe. Get all that used up. That will do. And I've just got a bucket of hot soapy water and a wheel brush. Just make sure my head's not in that shot. So we use the wheel brush for the larger areas. And I've got a smaller brush for the smaller sections the finer detail, shall we say. As you can see, it's not in bad shape around here, to be quite honest. So it's not gonna need a lot.
won't hurt for it to sit. And dwell a little bit. I've dried everything. Like I say, it's not going to need, need a huge amount. So I can see this bucket of hot water being used as a nice little rinse. And I'll be pouring that over it in a minute. Make sure we're getting everything a fair bit of rinsing on that. Right. It's lovely hot water. Lovely. <laughs> I mean a little bit of a mist All the chemicals gone. I won't leave any sitting on the paint. Lovely. Right, that's the majority of that done. Just leaving the Atom Mac to dry up nicely. And we'll just get some Q rust onto these nuts. I like doing this sort of thing. I went round and did this to all the nuts on the forest when I first got it. <laughs> I know. Thrilling. I'll let that soak in, wipe off any excess in due course. Not too worried about those little push fasteners. I'm sure I've got some of them somewhere. I think 
I will replace all of those. So that's them done. Excuse the GoPro. Just trying to find a solid place. And I want to get some in there on the battery tie down nut. This is how I roll. Hopefully you can see that okay. That'll give that plenty of opportunity to soak in. These are getting done. This tends to, once it reacts, it tends to dry black. Which ain't a bad thing, is it? So that's those. I'll put a tiny bit on there. Just to stop that from turning. Dry that fully. You can see where that started to crust up. So we'll be stopping that in its tracks. I'd rather have it looking a bit matte black and treated than it go. Right. So we'll get in and do these as well. It's gonna get them pour in. We'll probably end up getting in and doing that bracket too. Excuse me while I reach for the product. So just let that sit on there. I'll wipe off any excess in a bit. Sorry if that cable was in the way. I'll get that done. Am I worried about this? This will this will make this change colour. So, which is the nature of this product. But like I say, I'd rather it was black and not going to get any rustier than silver and getting progressively rustier if that makes sense so let's let that have a soak in and we'll have a look at that once it's all cured yeah that's good oh Right, engage back. So, let's get into some ceramic QD, I think. Let's get ahead on that. Last thing I want is slinging that. Right, let me just grab a cloth. Another sacrificial cloth. The products shake. Prime the pad. We're taking no prisoners today. We're just going in the whole hog. Let's get this looking as nice as we can. I think, let's just do a pad chain turn. So I've got no, because that was pretty dirty. I mean, well, it's the engine bay. Anyway, let's get a little run down there. Like so. And a little run down here. It's always the little finer details that makes all the difference. I'm just gonna get another clean side of pad I appreciate that now we're doing the top again but I don't care right let's give this a little wipe around this is just a case of loading up the surface really I'm just trying to smoke through this product I can't stand the bottles 
always feel like any minute it's gonna let go in my valeting bag like the other day which then results in everything being sticky copious amounts of cleaning pain in the bum right that'll do so make sure that one goes somewhere else we have one last dry one dry and clean so we'll start on the least dirty parts so obviously that's going to be those sides coming up nicely nice give this a go and see how everything comes up it's looking okay it's a funny one isn't it that's um not really pearl material and not necessarily perfect for ceramic either it's like a midway ground all looking nice and clean under here let's see if we can get the camera into there so it's getting a bit of glare let's get that up a bit here we are no rust or grot to speak of which is pleasing oh nearly put the cloth on there we have another cloth for that you can stay there it's going to use this ceramic application cloth for wiping off any excess on those nuts now just to make sure that's all nice and dry you'd probably find if I left that to soak it would change the colour of the paint anyway that's fine fine looking for another place another pour where's that pour there we go massage that in have a look to see how the underneath has responded and then get this all locked down step back do some final finishing up and we're almost there right I need my other hand well we'll have a little look around but there is your quick and dirty engine bay refresh everything's looking nice and clean almost bone dry atomac in all the voids rust inhibitor on some of the rusty crusty nuts this is what i was saying about the back to the headlights surfex hd did a nice job down here everything's looking good once i finish recording i will run the car for a bit just to get everything bone dry and i will pause again and get the engine bay cover on but that's that lot all looking great and that is that i'm just going to do a once i get the bonnet down once i wrap this up get the bonnet down i'm going to get a little bit of qd and a clean cloth on any overspray and that's that job done another little worthwhile task complete this was just eating it up and just for note i ended up putting a little bit of neat pearl on because every time i put some diluted pearl on went to do something else went back it was bone dry and looked horrible again so it's had a copious amount of neat pearl plenty of time for that to soak in but yeah nice so that is a nice mellow sunday project with not too many products nice and easy surfix hd sorts you out that gets rid of the most of the clag pearl for the plastics winner winner chicken dinner and then obviously my direct dreaded ceramic which is perfectly adequate but you know like i say the 
the bottles wire me up. You can't sell 18 quid's worth of product in a substandard bottle that doesn't even last a year. But anyway, that's another story. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that one. And thank you for tuning in as always. If you're enjoying the content, please hit that like and subscribe button. It really, really helps the channel, helps us grow. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you for tuning in as always. And I look forward to seeing you all again very, very soon. Take care. All the best. Bye-bye.